The information presented on this podcast represents the personal views and opinions of the hosts. The Neapolitan Trifecta podcast is not and should not be viewed as a news source. The ladies will often discuss current events regarding women in the entertainment industry. Links to sources of information will be posted for reference. (laughs) Yes. Welcome to another episode of the Neapolitan Trifecta podcast. I am Lana Reed. I'm the owner of Garnet Films and a director. I am Nancy Pushkar. I am the owner of Crazy Cat Lady Productions. I also have just shot a short film recently called Coffee and Cheese Crowns. (laughs) And I'm an actor. And I'm doing some writing, which is a whole new adventure for me, and I'm loving it. So I'm going to hand this over to our buddy Mo over there. Buddy Mo. Buddy Mo is uh, the cat's name. (laughs) But now you're Buddy Mo, too. That's okay. Yeah. Um, I'm Alex Schumard, and I'm an actor based out of the Dayton, Cincinnati area, and I am trying black coffee for the first time today. <gasps> look at Thank you! Coffee. I'm being a real adult today. Wow, look at that. <laughs> she We're... says it's an acquired taste, and it's, um, it's, uh, <clears throat> taking some work. <laughs> it should, that's a fake smile on that cup. <laughs> yeah. Here, we're, we're black coffee Alex is, here. we're watching Alex grow up as we yeah. sit here. Yes. You're witnessing We have it. yellow cups, too. Look at that. Wow. That's so funny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I that's why I got this great. water. All right, yeah. so back yeah. to business. Okay, so okay. again, back to business. We yes. are excited today because we have a phenomenal, phenomenal guest. Yes. Her name is Stop Jeannie Hines. Anymore. Yes, you <laughs> are. We love Jeannie. She's a sweetheart. And she has agreed to come on the podcast today and do something really, really great. Mm-hmm. Talk about a specific subject matter that is kind of a hot topic in yes. Hollywood these days and in the film industry, entertainment industry. It We are going to discuss being a minority in the entertainment industry of film. What? I'm a minority? Oh, Jeannie. Oh, shit. Oh, Jeannie. <laughs> nobody, nobody told her? No. Guess Jeannie. Not. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. Lana, why didn't you like tell me to... <laughs> like, Hey, I didn't know you were gonna just spring it out like that. Yeah, you I thought we were gonna ease first. into it, but that's okay. okay. It's all good. It's all right. Are you okay? I'm. A, I'm. Do you good. need a second? Right. Okay. Deep breath. This okay. is where my yoga gets in, <laughs> comes in handy. <laughs> Jeannie obviously has a phenomenal sense of humor. Yes. Anyway, we are we are going to discuss this yes. today. This uh, situation that there things came up around the Oscars. Mm-hmm. There yeah, are constant. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. women just in general are a minority in the entertainment industry and then to couple that with a different ethnic background or anything Mm -hmm. uh, that's associated. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So it just complicates things more in terms of auditioning, getting parts, roles, and things like that. And pay. And pay. And pay. uh, (laughs) uh, Yay, Robin Wright. We'll do another thumbs up for her Mm -hmm. this episode. Shout out to Robin Wright. Robin Wright. We always do. It's like a prayer thing. Robin Wright. (laughs) Robin Wright. Robin Wright. It's amazing. Oh, man. Robin (laughs) Wright. We need to like cut to like a picture right um, we're like we are like a mess however (laughs) before we even get started with that Jeannie I'm kind of curious how did you get started when did you get started in the entertainment and in film because you've done film commercials Mm -hmm. television and you even did a play I did do yes I did my first play last year I was it was interesting it was with you uh let's see I've been doing acting film probably going on five years now maybe six I was mostly comfortable just doing print stuff and then I thought well I can do non-speaking extra then I started taking some acting classes with the amazing Bob Elkins hey. Silvana Gallardo and you just God tapped rest. into Lana's heart yeah. right there God I rest her woman. soul I love that woman mm-hmm. and I was like this is kind of interesting and fun and so I started doing that and then I did uh, a couple of independent films did lots of different commercials throughout Cincinnati area, and uh, I did my first play last year, which was scary as hell, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> but I did it, and it was an uh, interesting topic, but I still was excited that I did it, so I could actually say I've done a play. You've done a play, yeah, and it's really good to cover all areas of acting mm-hmm. you know Absolutely. film to and you've yeah. done yeah. it all from printing i'm assuming like modeling yeah and yeah. stuff like yes. that so you've runway kind of modeling all... at 5-4 did you know you right. could be a runway model at 5-4 we do now <laughs> <laughs> we do now <laughs> do they make you wear platforms <laughs> they don't do runway modeling unless you're like six yeah. foot tall yeah. but <laughs> so i do print yeah yeah, yeah. Awesome. still do a lot of that but you've done do. some fashion shows though right didn't you do just local local stuff. Okay. stuff so yeah, yeah. nothing okay. nothing not new york yeah 
again, you're a minority if yeah. you're under a certain height and you want to do like a runway <laughs> show. Yep. I'm right so, there with you. Yeah. So. Me too. Pick me. I'll get on the step ladder. Yeah. So you pretend um, to be German with your blonde hair. Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could. You could be I, German. I could pretend to be German. We need a short hair. German girl for the runway. Me. Pick me. <laughs> Got it. Alex, keep that in mind. So yeah. let's talk about, you recently have done, a, you were cast in a couple commercials. Where uh, you played? Training videos. Training videos. Okay, mm-hmm. so what characters were you playing in those? I was playing, in one I was playing a pharmacist, and nice. the other one I did, I was a doctor, and that is so stereotypical of Asians. Isn't that? I, was, I, was I about agree. To, I was about to I just agree ask. with that, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's ask, impressive yeah. that they cast a woman as a doctor. Right. But you're right. It is very stereotypical. Mm-hmm. It's, I'm a doctor. I'm a nurse. I'm a dietitian. It's all medical. Even the field. pharmacist. And yeah, the pharmacist. Yeah. yeah. That's even and the I, field, it's, too. So. Yeah. It's That's, all that. And then I do, um, what else have I done? I think that's pretty much it as far as, like, just training videos and things like that. So, Okay. Well, that is interesting because here's the thing. This is how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. You still want to get the work. Mm-hmm. So you take it, you know. Absolutely. And yeah, I mean, you're not going to turn down work or whatever. But the thing is, wouldn't it be great if you could get cast as something, as just a woman mm-hmm. playing a character, right? An attorney, yes. a, you know, anything, a garbage, a uh, junkie, a, a junkie, mm-hmm. yeah, or a what is it, a sanitation worker yeah. or something? I would love sure. to get a part like that because it's gritty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, be a homeless person. Yeah. I was gonna say being a junkie would be that would be fantastic. That would be like that a, would be really mm-hmm. fun. Cool that would part be really to fun. Play. Yeah. So yeah. what what would be something that you would what would be like a dream role? Oh, for you? let's see. A dream role for me would be to be a lead, without being uh, you know without it being a specific ethnicity. I would just like to be able to go in and just audition and then say, well, you know, we weren't really looking at a an Asian, but she's really good. She nailed her lines. She knows what she's doing. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Without, you know, instead of getting auditions where it's specifically any ethnicity or it's Asian. They're just right. looking for a female. Right. And you go right. in and nail it, and it's, it has nothing to do with mm-hmm. your ethnicity right. at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like yeah. a lot of times when, when we'll get auditions for commercials, mm-hmm. and it'll say... It doesn't matter. They'll list what everything that they want. Right. They're looking at everybody, yeah, so like they're giving everyone the option yeah. to. Yeah. They're they're kind of open to whatever is possible for. Yes. But I think in this day and age, you have to approach things that way because it's not the white bread characters anymore. Everyone's not white. The world is so diverse, Absolutely. and that's what needs to be portrayed. That, and the world mm-hmm. is so diverse, and I feel like there's so many actors and actresses out there that are. Like, there's so many ethnicities represented that, you know what I mean, sometimes it seems like, sorry, Rusty. <laughs> oh, Rusty. <laughs> like, you know, they, they've they had some movies recently that people, you know, have felt have been whitewashed when certain right. characters were, you know, meant to be a certain ethnicity. So it's, you know what I mean, sometimes it almost, it makes you like, why didn't they cast someone who was, like, Asian or, you know, black mm-hmm. or someone, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's either movies or comic books of characters that were so you know, in those comics, a certain ethnicity, and then they casted, you know, like a white person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not that the movie ended up being bad or that the Mm -hmm. character, that actor or actress did bad. I'm not saying anything about the people that did that. But at the same time, I wish there were more opportunity for the people, Mm -hmm. like those comics ethnicities were based off of, Mm -hmm. to actually be represented. Right. There's been a lot of movies like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Yeah, That's there's a, a um, there's an article that I read. It was from I'm going to pull it up off my phone because I saved it. It's fantastic, and it just sums up what we're talking about very quickly. Mm-hmm. And I need to get through a couple pics here real quick, <laughs> but um, here it is. And I have to a make it cat bigger. Pictures, probably. A couple yeah. cat Lana. pictures, probably. A couple Lana. pictures. Of, it's a lot of pictures. <laughs> anyway, uh, so and this is what it said. It was from it was on. It was from Rolling Stone, and it said that, um, this is how it started, it said, the backslash Oscars so white um, backlash may have only scratched the surface of a deeper problem. A uh, a comprehensive new study on film and television diversity claims that a whitewashed Hollywood has created an empathetic epidemic of invisibility for women, minorities, and LGBT people. 
uh, that was from the Associated Press reports. This, I thought that was really fascinating because Mm -hmm. my daily life involves so many different types of people. Mm Right. That sometimes when I watch something, if it's just all white people, my God, it's just not real enough. Mm -hmm. If it's something that needs to be real, it's not real enough for me. Mm Right. Because I am like across the board involved with every type of person imaginable. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I would even like to see, I, at some point I would like to do a film where I, someone is autistic in it. I mean, I've been to the grocery store probably last couple days, like 16 times for whatever reason. And I saw somebody that was developmentally delayed I saw somebody that was physically challenged. All of these people, I've seen yeah. every ethnicity pretty much. And I'm not seeing that in films and I'm not seeing that. Not enough. And I'm right. starting to recognize, I'm starting to see these, see it more when it's too whitewashed and I'm white, I'm a white female, but I'm starting to see it, recognize it more in films and being distracted by it when it's too much white bread Mm -hmm. when there's not enough of a mix because my life is mixed with a lot of different types of people and you know what else i'm noticing to take that just another step further it's another form of sort of cutting people out or making them invisible is elderly yes oh you don't see very many older people in films Mm -hmm. i'm just realizing that yeah you walk into a restaurant and 50 percent of the people in there are older couples Mm -hmm. or you know a guy with his older mom or you know what i mean and it's Oh, I'm you, telling it's you. It's the same thing. You watch a movie and everybody's young and everybody's beautiful and everybody's, mm-hmm. you know, not over 40. And it's like, where is that? Because mm-hmm. that's not where I live. Right. Yeah. Well, even yeah. like with me, especially, you know, just five years, you know, like when I was in high school and I would watch movies mm-hmm. with, you know, the, it's like based with kids in high school. And I'm like, those don't look anything like the kids that I go to right. high school with. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, even right. in the younger, so like take sure. that even a step farther, you yeah. don't see the elderly people. I feel like even like the younger, they cast people that look way older than like, you know what I mean? Like when I went oh, to yeah. high school with kids, I'm like, we look like 10 years old compared to these 16 year olds that right. are really probably like 26 right. in right. real sure. life. It's like Glee. You know, yeah. all the actors oh there, they're, they're in like high they're 20s. Yeah. Yeah. But they're in their 20s, some are like even almost 30. 30. Yeah. And right. it just wasn't realistic. Well, I'm yeah. like, I love Glee, but yeah. I, 100, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I love it. But, but no, 100% agree right. with you that, yeah. I mean, some of them are like in their 30s. Yeah. And even high school musical. I, I mean, when that came out, I loved it. You know what I mean? It always has a little place in my heart. Yeah. But uh-huh. Some of those people were literally in their 30s. Right. Playing high school yeah. kids. So mm-hmm. even, yeah, so it's like even the age brackets are kind of wonky. Skewed. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, that's another invisibility yeah. kind of Well, effect. I also think with, you know, with that article you are reading to us, too, it's also like the gay, lesbian, transgender people. There's nobody doing that Mm -hmm. and I actually there was an audition a couple months ago that I was going to and they were actually looking for a true transgender person interesting yeah and they couldn't find anybody so they ended up I guess having somebody play a transgender right which that just to me well yeah there's people out there that want to act but they can't because they're transgender Mm -hmm. well I will say that I think just with all the movements recently I think transgender people are finally like being getting okay a word. with themselves right. Yes. and right. getting out. And I will say um, on Backstage.com, it has female, male, and then says trans- transgender for the F- wow. uh, for gender. There's a gender. Wow. That's, yeah. a so that's, that's, that's a big amazing. step. That's right. amazing. So you know how you can like, because you can go in and tag female so only the female jobs right. pop up. Right. So now there's a transgender option. So I just thought that was That's really cool. And I want them to not. I want really them to get cool. parts where they're not playing drag queens. They're not playing <laughs> waiters. Yeah. Everybody that's gay gets a they they play the waiter all the time. They'll you play like I a mean? bartender yeah. or yeah. like yeah. the best friend to somebody. Yeah. But there's right. so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? The there's so much. They go through stuff that we go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like right. normal. Yeah. They they exactly. need to be with normal roles too. Sure. Yeah. So. That's probably, they're a minority for sure mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. itself. Yeah, there's so but much. But I just thought that was really cool on backstage that they had that is amazing. the gender option for transgender. But I, I do like, think wow. we're moving forward. It just, everything just takes time and we have to be patient, don't we, Lana? 
We've been mm-hmm. we've been it advised. Seem, doesn't it seem like it's just taking so read. much longer? Patience. It seems I mean, like it's <laughs> taking so much longer. But gosh, there's like that old there's an old school mentality too mm-hmm. that we're trying to fight against. We're still and, trying to get out of. Yeah, and yeah. a new conservative mentality that's not buying into new ways of thinking. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. So there's like you, there's this kind of exchange of thoughts. Or whatever. Yeah. And recently, yeah. with all the movements, mm-hmm. you know, you have those people that are hesitant. And you're like, really? You know what I mean? Like right. maybe I can't think of anything specifically, but I'm sure there are people in you it's know, all like education. groups that are yeah. Yeah. It's all about educating people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To me it's never really been a like a thing. I'm just like, why not? You know, and like with mm-hmm. transgender people or any sort of minority, I'm like you know, some people are hesitant. It's not even just transgender people. Some people are super with like women in general, like they don't want women to be in charge or mm-hmm. have super mega lead roles or these mm-hmm. heroin. Direct. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ex- <laughs> exactly. And there's a face from Lana that we've seen quite <laughs> That and marketing. Marketing. Yeah. Marketing. <laughs> Anyhow. So. Steps in the right direction yeah. are happening for sure. And yeah. I think mm-hmm. luckily, at least from what I've seen, for the most part, everyone's pretty open armed about everything. Mm-hmm. I think been this going is probably on, the so. most serious that we have been. It is. With, because it's such a heavy It's a powerful subject. topic. It is. Sure. Powerful yeah. topic. Heavy subject matter. And it's like happening right now. And we want, yeah. we want, you know, with, with us wanting to share the thunder and, and you yeah. know, promoting that, mm-hmm. that, it, it's all about, we want to share it with everyone, not just, you know, women and, so, we, I mean, we want it across the board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, what I would like to see are mm-hmm. the writers take a stand that are creating these creating the stories writing these writing, writing films yeah. or writing tv episodes or creating a new series i would like to see the writers step up and say i'm gonna i'm gonna start this movement and change this well, this know, is what i'm gonna write because at oh, one point you stronger know, roles for women right and, you know more cast members that are women as opposed to 80 percent 90 percent of the cast mm-hmm, being mm-hmm. male and then the woman always being the one to apologize to one of the males or be the weakest in the whole mm-hmm. cast right. or get strangled. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, was it a Kate Blanchett that was talking about how ro- women's roles are so much lower and pay is so much lower? Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't she the one that said something? I th- I'm one, sure like she, an yeah, award she's, she's so, always very powerful yeah. about yeah. the women's but it's, equality. And, but there's so many Arquette, amazing. One of the Arquette girls said That's something about it. That's who it is. It. Yes, yeah. yes. Patricia Arquette. Yeah, Patricia yes. Arquette. Okay, it was Patricia oh, Arquette. Right, right, right. When oh, she yeah, won her award. Yeah. Her award. Was it a Golden Globe? I assume it was an Oscar. No, it was, it was an, an Oscar. Oscar. It was an Oscar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, okay. um, wow. it was for Supporting Actress in Boyhood. Yes. <gasps> okay. Um, But yes, I remember that because as soon as that happened, I yeah. sent her a link and yeah. I was like, dude, you got to watch this. Yeah. Like, I have goosebumps right now. I know. I just had goosebumps. Yeah. Because it was so powerful and I'm like, way to take like that little minute and a half speech you can give and like really like showcase and right yes i mean you have these opportunities happening. to educate do them mm-hmm. take them okay is it question corner time it's question corner it's question corner time. question corner time. Oh, it is question corner question corner, corner. Question corner time with alex, alex. <laughs> 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 jen from what Beaver is your Creek. say it's um from a cartoon <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it. We'll discuss that later. We'll discuss that later. At a later time. (laughs) Jen from Beaver Creek, Ohio. Yes. This is kind of a long question. Okay. And it's kind of worded weirdly, but I think we'll get the point. It says, do you ever feel like you've been cast in a role specifically because you are a minority and felt that the production needed to represent minorities? Absolutely. Right, so that's especially something. yeah, especially in the medical like field, like meeting a quota almost. Right, you know what I mean. Because if you see if in the roles that I'm in, and then when I actually get on set, it's always like the token Asian that would be me, mm-hmm. the token wow. African American, the token ethnically ambiguous, and then the white girl mm-hmm. or the white guy. It's always been like that. They need. It's what okay. they consider diversity. Right. Mm-hmm. The melting technically, pot. Technically, it's, it's really not. It's, it's yeah. not. It's, it's just not. reality. It's planned, it's yeah. planned diversity. Planned. Well, and I will say yeah. that recently. Structured diversity. Yes. How about that? Oh, that's a good title for a film. Structured. Structured. <gasps> that you could be the lead in. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> but, 
We're and just keep, simply because I'm good at my job as yes. opposed to because I'm yes. Asian. Yes. Which was kind of a shock earlier that I you know. Told I'm so that. sorry. I didn't yeah, mean so to bring like that up. The, you keep like the way you keep phrasing that like you're good at your job, not just because you're that. Like goes into like the regular work field yeah. mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Yes. Because I've had this discussion with my mom because she's you know like in the business world, mm-hmm. and she was always kind of known as like the you know the hard boss or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "Well, am I a hard boss because I'm a woman?" Because if I were a man, yes. I would just be doing yes. my job. Absolutely. Right. Right. Because you know, if it's, were it's, man. it's 100% yeah. true. So, mm-hmm. you know. Or she's oh, a yeah. yeah. Okay. I was like. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I kind of feel like I get I, <laughs> <assume, yeah. laughs> I just I hear my mom right now. Check your pulse. Check your pulse. Right. But, yeah, but it's, yeah. it's so true because it, it's a guy. It's everywhere. It would be like, mm-hmm. oh, he's like, doing his job. Oh, he's very career driven. I'm like, can a woman not be that without being a. A B word, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't even yeah. want to say it because it's such a bad word. I don't don't, like you, do it. you want me to say it? No, no. <laughs> no. I'll say it. I hear it all the time. Yeah. I don't have yeah. to say it. <laughs> we all know it. We've heard it. <laughs> I've never heard that before until just now. Poor Aww. Jeannie. You're learning so I'm much not. today about yeah. yourself. And that is so <laughs> not true. But you're right. It's like if you are a hardworking woman, you're considered... The beauty. And I feel like that is yeah. goes into the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. Also. Absolutely, it yes. does. I feel like well, they'd be more lenient with a man who's a little bit harder, like maybe on his assistant. They'd be like, oh, he's just, he's an, a hardworking actor. He works yeah. long days, but a girl would be, mm-hmm. she's, she's whiny. Yeah. She's a monster. She's a yeah. 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 It's a, it's yeah. a tool yeah. for control. Yeah. 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 By, by labeling somebody and telling them that they're this, yeah. you are attempting to control them because you're trying to get them to behave in a way that you feel is appropriate. Mm-hmm. And that's not necessarily the case. It's yeah. not. Um, Joshua from Indianapolis says, are you okay playing those typecasted situations and how do you feel? And I mean, this kind of goes for all of us mm-hmm. sort of in a way. Right. And um, you have a situation where you've kind of dealt with that as a director, right? Yeah. Where people I did. didn't um, necessarily want to do that. Yeah, yeah. We, when we shot the Western, um, we wanted to include historically accurate ethnicities into the film. And I approached quite a few African-American females and males to be townspeople um, and to accurately, historically, accurately portray what African Americans were like in 1887 and right like they wouldn't they wouldn't just be walking the streets with a few of them a few of them were busy and booked fine but there are other ones that said I'm not interested in playing that type of a role I want a stronger role than that. And I'm like, but it's it's a historically Mm -hmm. accurate film. It's completely different situation. You're trying to represent it. It's not belittling we're trying to represent it. Mm-hmm. Accurately. Accurately. Well, I mean, look at yeah. movies like 12 Years a Slave. I mean, right. those people are going right. to play slaves right. that were getting beaten. And I get it. And there are yeah. going to be people that don't want to play roles because right. they just don't want to be typecast typecast, yeah. or mm-hmm. put in a historically accurate situation because right. that's and not that's the kind of character they don't they want, want then... And I respect yeah. that. Um, but I wish people would be a little more open to that. Because you never that's know. a different you situation never know where it could be. Than, yeah. than like a modern yeah. day. Right. Obviously, you know what I mean? Then they could be... Doing kind of what everybody else is well, doing. Well, you're not modern right. disrespectful. It, no. it would be different if the film was being disrespectful to that time period or doing something that wasn't um, accurate. That wasn't right. accurate. Well, right. I feel like yeah. when you, I think yeah. when you're on target with things, that's a whole other story. But then again, you know, I'm coming from a different place. I sure. Have a but I think also yeah. if you think about it, it's also they don't want to be stereotyped. Right. Typed Type. in that, even though accurately that's what they need to do. Right. 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 They want the lead role, even though if you cast them as a lead role, that's that is a... so inaccurate and right. it's not going to give off this authen- authenticity. Thank you. Yes. Authenticity <laughs> to the film. And it's just going right. to look like it's well, to just me, a, if... whatever you want right. to do yeah. instead of being accurate. Right. And if you ignore that, to me, that's disrespectful. To the to this, film in yes. that right. era because right. you're just because not you, representing right. it. And then they're not going to take you seriously as a director yeah. because you're just appeasing somebody. Right. Right. But when yes. you want to be accurate. and Right. But yeah. she wasn't. She stuck to it and was yeah. like, all right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's such a catch-22 sometimes with things yeah. and just trying to make yeah. your point and whatever. Yeah. A lot of stuff to work with. All right. One, one more. Yep. Yeah, one more question. Dan from Cincinnati. Woo-woo. 
Damn. Wonder if I always go woo woo. I don't know why because I'm not even from Cincinnati. <laughs> um, what are some of the biggest struggles and situations you have faced as a minority? Any specific, and then and then uh, he says any specific situations that you can think of. Oh, uh, let's see. I think the biggest obstacle or something that I have is people see me and they automatically will come up and start talking to me in some different language, and I'm like, okay, oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> Do they uh, talk louder? Yes. Hi, <laughs> that's the worst. I'm Nancy. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> Do you eat cheese? Yes. And very yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> But they do that. They come up, they just assume, or they roll, they put me in a role and they're like, okay, can you speak Korean? I'm like, no. No. I'm sorry. I can't. There was, um, that's um, funny. I was very randomly watched a Grey's Anatomy episode uh-huh. and there's a, a woman, I cannot think of her name, Sue, or it's like Chin or something uh-huh. is her last name. And she's a uh, Korean. Uh-huh. In this episode, they have this Chinese. Sandra O. Oh. Sandra, oh, thank yes. you. Thank, thank you, Brian. You. Sandra, oh, Brian like, is running cameras name. for us today with Rusty back there on sound. So, yay. Yay. shout out to and Brian. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I love Brian. her. I love yeah. her. And we love she's, you too, Rusty, always. And yes. she's a great character. That's a very good female, strong mm-hmm. doctor character. And she has she goes through a lot of struggles. So, that's a really cool female character. But yeah. there's an episode where another doctor is having trouble communicating with like a Chinese lady. So, she calls. Sanders' character in and says she goes I'm Korean like, you know what I mean <laughs> oh my God. So when you yeah, said that, that's funny she, she brought her in she's like can you help me and she's like what no. what can I do she goes don't you understand her she's like I'm Korean yeah and she's like and I don't even speak Korean yeah. you know what I mean that's a so nice way funny. of making a point on yeah. how people it, that's absolutely. what I'm saying so they kind of like they took that little snippet yeah. it was mm-hmm. kind of like a like a kick yeah. in the face to Oh yeah, and I have I have an agency that they have literally changed my last name because they said Heinz is not Asian enough. <gasps> what? <laughs> wow. So they have changed my name. They wanted your last. Wow. They wanted my last name to be like Chin or some you know an an Asian name. They have literally changed my last name because they told me that I would get more roles. If you were Jeannie, wow. if I had a different last yeah, maybe name. more typecasted Asian yes. roles. So wow. I, with my other agency, I actually have a different last name because they want. They said p- directors will look at you. They can think that you are perfect for the role, but they don't like you because your last name is too American. I'm like. Wow. Do you ever go to an audition? They call your name, and you're just sitting there reading a magazine, like you don't move. Because you don't. You're not used to your <laughs> Asian. Not you're not you. used to your <laughs> Asian name. So yeah, it's just. And the, well, time. when I have to slate or something yeah. for the agency, I'm like, Jeannie Chen. <laughs> oh my god, that is so. Funny. That's yeah. funny. So I thought that was funny. All right. Well, Jeannie, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are going to wind yes. up the cast for today. And thank you, Jeannie. This was fantastic. It's fun to be here. Yeah. Oh, so I love you guys. I'm so appreciative that you came yes. today. Thank you. And best of luck for auditions in the future. Yes. And that yes. feature, that starring role in the future. Yes. That's coming up. It's going to happen. Structured. Yes. Diversity. I was like, hopefully you Structured that, I'm diversity. <laughs> it's great. It's a new term. A yeah, new term. Yeah. Yeah. Structured yeah. diversity. It's Alex, really good. where can people find us? You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Neapolitan3 and spell the three out. And okay. we have also our website as NeapolitanTrifectaPodcast.com. Sweet. So yes. that's where we are. You can uh, ask us questions like these lovely folks did on our website. Um, just recently added a forum to the website so you can start topics and conversations with each other and us. We also will be on there every now and then. So yes, yeah. and we'll be at Illuminarium. Imaginarium. 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 <laughs> oh, I've been practicing that. Oh my god, that's uh, why. We'll be at Imaginarium in Louisville, the seventh, eighth, and ninth of October live. We will be. Uh, airing live at Imaginarium. And guess who will be with us? And guess who will be with us? Rusty. 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 And Mr. (laughs) Dolbins will be with us. And Mr. Dolbins. Yes. So it'll be a fun time. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. Jean, um, thank you again. Thank you. We so appreciate you being yep. here. Shout out to think, our sponsors really quickly. Oh, yep. um, Derek Cadzow at DerekCadzow.com. Yes. He designed our website and he is phenomenal. Yay. Um, Yay. Five Elements Pottery on Etsy at, spell it out, Five Elements Pottery. Um, check out what Winter designed. She does some amazing pottery. Mm-hmm. Go on there and buy stuff from Very her. Yeah. Stuff. 
Star Wind Vacations, if you want to go somewhere tropical and warm and get the heck out of Ohio. Because it's tropical like a, like and warm. Tropical <laughs> it's warm. tropical and warm here. And here. No, it's warm, but no tropical. Yeah, Star but Wind Vacations.net. And then the Pie Bird on Facebook at Pie Bird. They make yummy savory and fruit pies and all that yummy stuff. So check them out. Do we have any yeah. pie to eat? Oh, I wish yeah. we did. We have cinnamon yeah. rolls. I'm out of here. And then we, no pie. Uh, cinnamon rolls. <laughs> cinnamon rolls. Oh, yeah, there are those. Cinnamon cinnamon rolls. Rolls. We can put them on our heads cinnamon and rolls. pretend we're Princess Leia. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Delete that part, Rusty. We'll cut that out. Oh, and then Luke. Uh, we'll take that <laughs> post. <laughs> Um, CP Designs. We will be wearing some of the jewelry, jewelry. that she designs yeah. for us. So. Soon, yeah. Sooner than later, yes. we hope. So. Nice. so shout out to all our sponsors. Yeah. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Stay cool and have fun. I'm always cool. Peace. I'm just kidding. Bye, Bye guys. Pop <laughs> power. Pop power. Love the babies. Love the babies. Pop power. Bye. All righty. Bye. <laughs>